Have you noticed an inner peace so resilient it seems impervious to life's chaos, signaling a deeper liberation? Have the chains of material desire and societal expectations begun to dissolve for you, revealing a path to true freedom? If these questions resonate with you, you might have broken the soul trap. At the moment of death, instead of transitioning to a realm of higher consciousness, individuals are drawn towards a mesmerizing white light. This light, often perceived as a gateway to the afterlife or higher realms, is nothing more than a mechanism to recycle souls back into the Earth's matrix, a cycle meticulously controlled by entities known as Archons. These Archons feed off the energy produced by human souls, creating a perpetual harvest of divine energy. To break free from this trap, we must undergo a spiritual awakening that elevates our vibrational frequency. Today we delve into the 10 signs that you have broken the soul trap, embarking on a path of true freedom and spiritual sovereignty. The first sign of breaking free from the soul trap is the emergence of a profound sense of freedom and liberation that permeates every facet of your being, transcending the limitations of physical reality. This liberation is not just a fleeting moment of joy, but a deep, pervasive awakening that dissolves the existential doubts and the suffocating feelings of confinement that have long defined your existence within the soul trap. It's as if the heavy chains of fear, uncertainty and restriction that once bound your spirit have been shattered, leaving behind a boundless expanse of clarity and peace. This newfound freedom manifests in daily life as a radical detachment from the incessant pursuit of materialistic desires and the oppressive weight of societal expectations. You no longer find yourself ensnared by the siren calls of consumerism or the hollow accolades of social status. Instead, there is an authentic alignment with your true essence, a harmonious connection to the core of your being that prioritizes meaningful experiences and genuine relationships over the accumulation of possessions and accolades. In this state of liberation, your actions and choices are no longer dictated by external pressures or the fear of judgment. You move through the world with a serene confidence, guided by an inner compass that steers you towards actions and experiences that resonate with your highest self. The freedom you experience is both exhilarating and grounding, offering a steady platform from which to explore the depths of your soul and the infinite possibilities of the universe. This is the hallmark of a soul that has transcended the trap, embodying the essence of true freedom and liberation. The second sign that heralds your escape from the soul trap is the profound reconnection with your true self, a journey that transcends the superficial layers of societal roles and material possessions. This deep connection is not merely about self-awareness, it's a vibrant living bridge to the essence of who you truly are, untouched and unshaped by the external world's demands and distractions. It's as if you've peeled away the countless layers of an onion, each representing the expectations, labels and identities imposed upon you, to reveal the luminous core of your being that has always remained constant, pure and authentic. In this sacred space of reconnection, authenticity becomes your guiding light, illuminating your path forward and enabling you to live in alignment with your deepest values and truths. The masks you once wore, the roles you played with reluctance, no longer fit the person you've unveiled within. You find courage in vulnerability, strength in your truth, and an unshakable peace in simply being your authentic self, unapologetically and without pretense. This rediscovery and connection with your true self signify a pivotal departure from the soul trap's confines, where the illusion of fulfillment through external achievement or possession is shattered. You understand that true contentment, purpose and joy spring from an intimate relationship with yourself, nurtured by introspection, meditation and the relentless pursuit of self-knowledge. Living from this place of authenticity, every decision, interaction and moment is infused with a deeper meaning and resonance. You are no longer swayed by the whims of societal expectations or seduced by the fleeting allure of material gains. Instead, you move through life with a profound sense of purpose and fulfillment, rooted in the unshakable foundation of your true self. This is the essence of freedom from the soul trap, a liberation not just from external constraints, 
but from the internal chains that once kept you from fully embracing your authentic essence. The third sign you have shattered the constraints of the soul trap is marked by an acute awareness of higher truths and realities, a profound understanding that stretches far beyond the sensory illusions of our material existence. This is not merely an intellectual awakening, but a visceral soul-deep recognition of the intricate existence that lies hidden from our everyday perception. It's as though you've emerged from the shadowy confines of Plato's cave, stepping into the brilliance of the sun for the first time, where the world is seen not as a collection of shadows, but as a vibrant landscape rich with color and life. This heightened awareness allows you to perceive and interact with the world around you in a more profound and meaningful way. The mundane aspects of life transform, revealing deeper layers of significance and interconnectedness that were previously obscured by the fog of the unawakened state. You begin to see the divine dance in the ebb and flow of nature, the silent wisdom in the mountains, and the lessons in the river's relentless journey to the sea. Armed with this expanded consciousness, you navigate the world with a sense of wonder and reverence, recognizing the sacredness in all forms of life and the hidden threads that connect us all. Your interactions are infused with a depth of understanding and compassion as you perceive not just the outward appearances, but the essence of beings and situations. This awareness of higher truths and realities is a testament to your liberation from the soul trap, a clear indication that you are moving in harmony with the universe attuned to the symphony of existence that resonates with the very core of your being. The fourth sign of breaking free from the soul trap is the adoption of a mindful and balanced approach to technology. A conscious recognition of its dual nature as both a connector and a potential captor. This nuanced understanding marks a significant departure from the unexamined consumption and use of digital tools that often deepens our entanglement in the soul trap. Instead of allowing technology to dictate the pace and direction of life, pulling us further into a vortex of distraction and disconnection, there is a deliberate shift towards harnessing its positive potential to enrich and enhance our lives. In this enlightened perspective, technology becomes a servant rather than a master, a tool thoughtfully wielded to forge meaningful connections, access empowering knowledge, and facilitate genuine experiences. The dangers of its overuse and misuse, how it can isolate us, commodify our interactions and blur the lines between reality and illusion, are acknowledged and actively mitigated. You find yourself setting boundaries, using technology with intention, and choosing platforms and practices that truly add value to your life. Moreover, this mindful approach extends to recognizing technology's role in the broader context of societal and environmental well-being. There's an increased tendency to support and engage with technologies that promote sustainability, equity, and positive community building. The shift is profound, reflecting a deep re-evaluation of what it means to live a technologically integrated life without succumbing to the soul trap's seductive but ultimately shallow promises. Technology under your stewardship becomes a force for good, an instrument of liberation and connection in a world navigating the delicate balance between the physical and the digital realms. The fifth sign of transcending the soul trap is the cultivation of compassionate detachment, a refined state of being where your heart overflows with deep empathy and care for others and the world, yet you remain unshackled by the emotional turmoil and binary judgments that often ensnare us. This is not a cold or indifferent stance, but a profound understanding and acceptance of life's fluid nature, allowing you to offer love and support without being overwhelmed by the pain, suffering or drama that might accompany it. In this state, you navigate the complexities of human experiences with grace and wisdom, understanding that attachment to specific outcomes or labeling experiences as strictly good or bad only reinforces the illusions of the material world. Instead, you see the larger existence, recognizing the value and lessons in all experiences, irrespective of their immediate appearance. This perspective liberates you from the emotional roller coasters that can drain your energy and cloud your judgment, enabling you to act from a place of balance and clarity. Compassionate detachment also means engaging with the world from a place of centeredness, 
where your actions are motivated by genuine love and the desire to contribute positively, rather than by a need for recognition or fear of failure. It's a way of being that fosters inner peace and resilience, allowing you to be present for others in a more meaningful and effective way. By embodying this principle, you become a beacon of light in the lives of those around you, offering solace and guidance while maintaining your spiritual equilibrium, a clear sign that you have broken free from the soul trap's confining grasp. The sixth sign of liberation from the soul trap is a profound diminution of the fear of death, transforming what is often perceived as the ultimate end into a recognized transition, a mere chapter change in the expansive narrative of existence. This shift is not born from indifference or resignation, but from a deep-rooted understanding and acceptance of death as an integral part of life's cycle, a passage rather than a terminus. It signifies an awakening to the eternal nature of consciousness, an awareness that our essence, our true self, extends far beyond the physical constraints of our earthly existence. This reduced fear of death emerges from a place of knowledge and intuition, a certainty that what we experience as life is just one form of our existence, and death is simply the doorway to another. It reflects an understanding that our spirits, our consciousness, are not bound by the material body but are part of a continuous flow of energy and existence that transcends physical death. Embracing this perspective allows individuals to live their lives more fully, unburdened by the dread of an impending end. It opens up a space for living with greater purpose, passion and peace, knowing that each moment is part of a larger journey that does not conclude at the point of physical departure. The fear of death, once a formidable shadow casting over life's experiences, becomes a gentle reminder of the impermanence of our current state and the infinite possibilities that lie beyond. This awareness breeds a courage to face life's challenges and an openness to its mysteries. Hallmarks of a soul that has seen through the illusion of the soul trap and embraced the continuity of existence. The seventh sign of transcending the soul trap is the attainment of an unwavering inner peace and resilience, a serene state of being where neither external turmoil nor internal storms can disrupt your core of calm. This profound peace is not a mere absence of conflict, but a deep pervasive presence of tranquility that permeates your entire being, a steadfast serenity that endures regardless of the chaos that may swirl around you. It is a testament to a mind that has seen through the veil of the world's illusions, recognizing them for what they are transient waves on the ocean of existence. Cultivating this level of inner peace requires a deliberate and disciplined practice of introspection, mindfulness and detachment, processes through which you learn to observe your thoughts and emotions without getting entangled in them. It involves a deep understanding and acceptance of the impermanence of all things, including our thoughts, emotions and the scenarios that play out in our lives. By embracing this fluidity, you free yourself from the clutches of the soul trap, which relies on our attachment to and identification with these transient states to keep us bound. Moreover, this inner peace is the foundation of an incredible resilience, an inner strength that allows you to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. It equips you with the ability to face adversity, not with fear or avoidance, but with a calm assurance that whatever happens, your inner self remains untouched and intact. This resilience is not a hardening of the heart, but a deepening of understanding, a recognition that true strength lies in flexibility and the ability to remain centered in the midst of life's storms. Breaking free from the soul trap and achieving this level of peace and resilience means that you have not only recognized the illusions that once bound you, but have also mastered the art of living beyond them. You move through the world with a lightness of being, unaffected by the ebb and flow of external conditions, your serenity a beacon to others still navigating their way out of the shadows. This inner peace and resilience are the ultimate signs of spiritual liberation, markers of a soul that has reclaimed its freedom and stands in the light of its true essence. The eighth sign of liberation from the soul trap is the profound deepening of intuitive connection and the frequent occurrence of synchronicities, those moments when the universe seems to conspire in your favor, 
guiding, reassuring and affirming your path with an uncanny precision. This heightened intuition is not just about making good guesses, but represents a harmonious alignment with the cosmic intelligence that permeates all existence. It's as if your internal compass is finely tuned to the subtle frequencies of the universe, allowing you to navigate life with an inner guidance system that transcends logical reasoning. Synchronicities or meaningful coincidences become commonplace, serving as signposts along your journey that you are moving in the right direction. These are not random occurrences, but are imbued with deep significance, often arriving at moments of doubt or decision, providing clarity and confirmation. Whether it's the unexpected appearance of people who bring pivotal opportunities and insights, or the serendipitous alignment of circumstances that propels you forward on your path, each synchronicity is a thread in your life, woven with the intent of the universe. This intuitive connection and the dance with synchronicities suggest a dissolution of the barriers between the self and the greater cosmic flow. You become more attuned to the subtle energies and messages that the universe communicates, leading to a life that feels more aligned, purposeful, and in sync with a higher order. It's a clear indication that you have moved beyond the limitations of the soul trap, stepping into a space where you co-create with the cosmos, guided by an intelligence far greater than the mind can fathom. This sacred partnership with the universe is a testament to the true freedom and empowerment that come with breaking free from the confines of the soul trap, embracing a life filled with wonder, meaning, and divine synchronicity. The ninth sign that one has transcended the soul trap is the profound ability to find joy and gratitude in the simplicity of the present moment, a state of being where happiness is not contingent upon external circumstances. This profound contentment arises from a deep appreciation for the now, recognizing it as the only true reality amidst the illusions that often captivate our attention and energies. It signifies a shift from living in the shadows of the past or the mirages of the future to fully embracing the richness of the present. In this state of awareness, every breath becomes a reason for gratitude, every interaction an opportunity for joy. It's a way of seeing the world that imbues even the most mundane aspects of life with a sense of wonder and significance. This deep-seated contentment is not a passive acceptance, but an active celebration of the miracle of existence, a recognition of the beauty and value in the simplicity that surrounds us. The laughter of a child, the warmth of the sun, the melody of nature, all become profound experiences, reflecting the beauty of the universe in microcosm. This appreciation for the present moment is indicative of a soul that has broken free from the relentless pursuit of more, more possessions, more achievements, more validations that defines the soul trap. It reflects an inner fullness and peace that does not depend on external validations or conditions, but is rooted in the simple act of being. Embodying joy and gratitude for the present moment is a powerful affirmation of one's liberation from the soul trap. It is a testament to the understanding that while we may navigate through time, the essence of life, its true beauty and its deepest lessons are always found here and now. This realization anchors us in our true power, our capacity to create happiness from within, and our ability to connect with the profound depths of our being, where every moment is a gift and an opportunity to live fully and freely. The tenth sign of breaking free from the soul trap is the awakening to a profound call to serve, help and heal others, alongside a commitment to the healing of our planet. This transformative realization goes beyond mere altruism. It is an acknowledgement of the interconnectedness of all life and the recognition that by contributing to the welfare of others, we inherently enrich our own spiritual journey. This sense of purpose is fueled by an understanding that our most profound gifts and talents are not merely for personal achievement, but are meant to be shared in service to the greater good. This calling is a clear indication of a soul that has transcended the narrow confines of self-centered existence, moving into a state of expansive consciousness where the well-being of the community, humanity and the earth herself becomes paramount. It reflects a deep spiritual maturity, an understanding that true healing, be it physical, emotional or ecological, is a path to collective liberation. In serving others, 
we serve the very essence of our being, engaging in a sacred exchange that nourishes and uplifts all involved. Embodying this call to service and healing signifies a significant shift in perspective. It is a move away from viewing success in terms of accumulation and dominion over nature towards a model of success that values contribution, compassion, and the fostering of harmony. This shift is not just an intellectual understanding, but a heartfelt commitment that compels one to act, to apply one's skills and abilities in ways that affect real change. This transition from self to service is a clear beacon that one has not only broken free from the soul trap, but has also stepped into a role as a healer and guardian of the earth. It marks a return to the essence of what it means to be human, to live in community, to support one another, and to honor and protect the natural world. This call to serve and heal is a powerful testament to the liberation of the soul, embodying the highest principles of love, compassion, and interconnectedness. In our journey through the labyrinth of existence, breaking free from the soul trap marks not the conclusion, but the commencement of a profound awakening to our true potential as sovereign beings of light. This path of liberation we've traversed together, recognizing the signs of our emancipation, serves as a testament to our innate ability to transcend the material limitations and illusions that have long obscured our vision. As we stand at this threshold, it's essential to recognize that our sovereignty as beings of light is not a static achievement, but a dynamic state of being, an ongoing process of growth, discovery, and deepening connection with the essence of who we truly are. This newfound freedom invites us to explore the boundless possibilities of existence, to engage with life and the universe in ways that enrich not only our own spirit, but also the collective consciousness. The journey ahead calls for a continued commitment to spiritual growth and exploration, urging us to venture further into the mysteries of the cosmos, to cultivate our inner wisdom, and to embrace the limitless capacity for love, creativity, and transformation that resides within us. It's an invitation to live with purpose, to serve and heal, to spread joy and gratitude, and to foster the connections that remind us of our unity with all creation. As we each walk our unique paths, let us share our stories, insights, and discoveries with one another, for in sharing, we amplify the light we carry, illuminating the way for others as they navigate their journey. Let us encourage one another, celebrate the milestones, and offer support through the challenges, for it is together, as a community of light beings, that we can affect the most profound changes in our world.